In this video, we are going to be swatching all of the Kaleidos Lab lip clays, or at least all the ones that came in this PR box right here, which is a lot of lipsticks, so get ready. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina, and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. In my Best of Beauty 2022 video, I did mention the Kaleidos Lab Lip Clays formulations, textures, the staying power, everything about them were amazing. And you guys asked me to do a full swatch video on all of the lipsticks, so I thought I would finally tackle that for you. Honestly, I've been a little intimidated because it is a lot of lipsticks. I'll be sharing my experiences as well as a full review on these lipsticks. So let's get started. I will be showing you guys a couple of lip liner combos with some of these. Not all of them because honestly I haven't worn a lot of these. There are 20 lipsticks right here and they are all categorized within different collections. You can tell by the color of the packaging here. I'm not quite sure the name of the different collections. Again, this was a PR box that I was sent a couple months back actually. So they are a revolutionary texture. They are a cream to powder texture. They're light and soft in feel and they fill in the lip lines within your lips. Okay, starting off with the pink tube collection. This is the shade Dune. I did mention this in my best of beauty 2023 video because it is one of my absolute favorites. They do have a very, very, very faint scent like a sweet scent and the texture of them are super nice and velvety they're kind of softer a little bit of like a moussey texture i don't know if you can tell within that swatch let me do like a thicker swatch so you can kind of see the moussey texture of them let me just like glob a piece right there so you can sort of see right where that swatch starts it is a little bit more moussey in texture and if you wanted you could wear it full pigmentation or you can also blend it out on the lips and kind of have like a blotted lip look so we have a lot of variety when wearing this lip product and i'm gonna go ahead and apply this straight on the lips for you guys a lot of pigmentation right off the bat as you can see takes absolutely no effort All right, and here is the shade Dune, number 006. And when I think of a light, feathery, textured lip product, I think of these. They are light, velvety, they have a really smooth texture, so when you rub your lips together, it feels super soft and buttery. They do dry down just a little bit, but they don't look drying on the lips. The longevity of these are actually really great. I don't know how many hours I can get out of this. If I were to guess, and I'm thinking of the times that I've worn them out, maybe like four hours on me before I feel like I want to reapply, and that's with like eating and drinking and stuff you know but they reapply really nicely they look super fresh and they also do not dry the lips out and let's do adobe this one is actually my most used shade i absolutely love this nude shade it looks amazing on my skin tone i really like the applicator on these because i feel like it's the perfect width for my lips as well as the perfect point to where i can just really get those edges super precise there you go, that is Adobe, the perfect, absolute most perfect nude shade for me. I am obsessed with this shade. It looks great alone and it also looks really, really beautiful with a darker lip liner. Since it is a nude, nudes do tend to dry my lips out and make my lip lines look more emphasized, but this actually fills in those lip lines like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, so I don't have that issue and my lips almost look blurred when I wear this lip color and it's just, an absolute favorite of mine. There is Adobe. Now these do have the potential to stain your lips depending on what shade you go for, or as they fade, they kind of look more like a stain. I wanna do Adobe with one of my favorite lip liners, which is NYX Lip Liner in Cold Brew. I really like outlining my lips with this. So I kinda outline my lips and do the outer portions of my lips. And then I will just top it with Adobe, mainly in the center, and work it outwards. So it kind of creates a gradient, you know? 
that is that lip combo. I love this one. I wear it all the time and sometimes I'll even top it with a gloss if I just want that glossy look, but I want the shade of this and it's just beautiful. It gives you the perfect blurred type of nude look and I think it's great for all occasions and it's really fitting for a lot of makeup looks. Next, let's do the shade Terra. I'll do a little swatch here and Terra is definitely that terracotta shade right there. Pulls a little orangey red, but still a really beautiful wearable lipstick shade. Oh, I also wanted to mention that this applicator is very flexible as well. So it's really easy to just manipulate the, the tip of it and kind of get it to go where you want it to go. See how flexible that is? It's a super flexy applicator and I love, I love it. <laughs> Here is the shade Terra, amazing fall winter lip color. And this one also can give you that very blotted, bitten lip look that some people really enjoy. I like wearing it full on pigmentation, but I also like the option of just doing a wash of color. So I've worn this like that several times, but usually I'll just wear it full pigmentation because I feel like it's a really nice statement lip look for myself because I don't typically go for something darker in nature like this one on a day-to-day -day basis. Next, we have the shade Sienna. This one I haven't worn often because I feel like it's just like Adobe, just a little bit darker. And I've just been so in love with Adobe that I don't know, I haven't reached for this one, but this is a beautiful shade as well. I also feel like I usually don't have to dip back into the tube to get enough product. I feel like whatever is on the applicator is a perfect amount. And here's the shade Sienna. I feel like this is a universal shade. I think that this would look beautiful on everyone, whether you have fair skin to darker complexions. I think it could range as a nude to a bolder, nudie, taupey shade, I guess. And this one, I would probably wear alone. I probably wouldn't wear a lip liner with it, but if I did, I would wear a darker, kind of like a brown lip liner. Again, just to give you guys a little bit of a visual, I'm gonna do this with cold brew as well. And there is that combo right there. I think that this one would be super suitable for me in the winter time, just because I gravitate towards these sort of shades when it's colder. Moving on to these right here, we have four of each by the way. So the next four, the first one is Cactus Flower. And I love these for a pop of color. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's kind of like this fuchsia pink, like this hot, hot pink shade, and it's more on the warm tone. So I feel like it looks good on me because I am like more medium skin toned. Look at that color payoff, are you kidding me? It almost looks neon but it still looks nice and warm. That color payoff is everything. Okay, here is Cactus Flower, a super fun, very bright, hot pink shade on myself. And I feel like this shade really exemplifies the fact that it fills in your lip lines. You can really tell here that if this were a drying formulation, it would really emphasize all of those lines in my bottom lip especially. But I feel like it definitely fills it in and blurs it and makes this just a joy. Just such a fun, fun color to wear. And it also makes my teeth like really, really white. <laughs> and I think you'll be able to see a little bit of staining power from this one. So let's try to wipe this off with just a tissue. And I'll show you guys. There you go. <laughs> that one is very stained. So like I mentioned, depending on the shade that you choose will depend on how staining they are. A lot of people have been mentioning Vaseline to remove stubborn lipsticks, but I have still been using my Neutrogena one because I have it, but I may switch over to that. And if you have that on hand, that might be a good option. Next, we have the shade Agave. I wasn't expecting that. This is a blue one. Clearly, I have not used this one. Oh my goodness, look at that. So let's do this one. Ooh, whoa, that color payoff. I just pressed my lips together and that was the color. And here is the shade Agave. Definitely not the type of color that I would personally wear, but if you're looking for a really deep, like teal kind of greenish blue shade that gives a lot of color payoff, this of course would be a great option. It went on really nicely and all in all, it looks like it's pretty even in color. Okay, next we have the shade Dahlia. Look at that rich, rich, like deep red. 
All right, and here is Dahlia, a beautiful, rich red shade. This is just stunning. I feel like the finish of this, plus the darkness and boldness of that red lip shade is Mm, it's so yummy and just I don't know it just looks so yummy and plush and I really really enjoy this shade I need to wear this more often <laughs> and last in that blue collection is the shade mahogany Ooh, yes come through brown you can even put your lips together and still have really good color payoff. It's insane. And here is the shade Mahogany. Such a beautiful, neutral, maybe cool toned brown. I will say that I don't usually gravitate towards a true brown shade. At least for me, it's not really an everyday type of lipstick color, but I think that this one is so pretty and I could actually see myself wearing this with like a winged liner type of thing and like maybe some bold, uh, blush or something, you know, I really like this one. What do you guys think? If you do have a darker complexion I feel like this would be such a beautiful like nude shade for you. I just I love the tone of it I feel like it's not too red, but it's also not veering towards like gray It's the perfect in-between shade moving on to these lavender tubes first one we have right here is the shade wild apple Wow that is so pretty. Here's the shade Wild Apple and I love this. I have not worn this one actually. It's like a beautiful reddish berry shade. It has a little bit of berry in it, but it definitely can kind of pass as a red. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't felt this formulation, it's to die for. It's absolutely the best. Next is the shade Mercury Wave. It's this grayish kind of taupey shade. Whoa, it's like a purpley gray. All right, and here is Mercury Wave. If you like those really cool toned shades and you want something really fun like this one, Mercury Wave is your lipstick. Next, we have the shade Bear. This is a pretty shade. Ooh, clearly I haven't tried all of these on my lips, but this one kind of looks like my lip shade. Wow, that one really looks like my actual lip shade. Talk about bare. <laughs> no, but it looks really good. This is a really beautiful nude shade. Really soft pink. Not too pink to where it's like pastel-y, but it doesn't add too much darkness to where it's like uh, a brown pink. Next, we have this shade Pink Moon. All right, and here is Pink Moon. Right off the bat, I would say that this looks a little too pink for my taste, but I feel like it could be wearable with a gloss. Like if I did sort of like a nudie, milkier gloss, it would kind of tone down how pink this one is to where I would really like it. Or the alternative is to use a darker lip liner with it, which I think I'll do and I'll test that out for you guys right now. I'm gonna take the lip liner in the shade Spice from Milani. Gonna fill in those outer edges as well as just line the lips. And then I just wanna take a touch of this shade and then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. And there you go. That makes it so much more wearable. And like I said, you can wear these blotted and it'll still look like a complete finished lip look. And I think that this looks way more wearable and it's actually something that I would consider wearing. Okay, moving on to these purple tubes right here. First, we have the shade Fiamma. This looks like it's gonna be a really fun red shade. Look at how those apply, just so smooth. All right, here is that shade Fiamma, and I can't really tell if this is like a magenta shade or if it's like a hot red shade. I think it's a red. Like, I think it's a red that has a little bit of pink in it, you know, or a little bit of berry in it. Whatever it is, I like it. <laughs> The next shade is the shade Rubino. It looks like it's going to be a Bordeaux, very vampy lip. Here is Rubino. I don't know what it is, but these shades I don't particularly like on myself because they always end up looking really patchy. No matter what the formulation is, like granted from far away, this one looks like it went on pretty nicely and only up close can you see that it's slightly patchy. But despite that, here is that shade. Next we have the shade Queen of the Night. Oh, it's like a deep purple. Now I'm sure wearing a similar lip liner would remedy the fact that these do go on patchier. However, I don't think that I have a plummy or dark lip liner the shade of this. And I wanna make sure that you guys can see exactly how this wears and how this applies by itself. 
All right, and here is Queen of the Night. This one is such a deep, plummy shade that it almost looks black on the lips, but there's definitely some purple in there. And just so you guys know, when I was applying this one, I didn't press my lips together. I wanted to see how the pigmentation was. And so far, it's a little less patchy than Rubino, but it's still a little bit, just like a tiny bit patchy. But here is that shade. Also, I apologize, it's all wonky looking. My swatches, I'm almost done, and my swatches are getting worse and worse. And last for the purple tubed ones, we have Scorpion Fruit. Oh, this is the black one. All right, and here is Scorpion Fruit. It is such a dark black. It almost kind of has like a greenish blue tint to it. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. This swatch is horrible. I have no excuse, it's just bad. <laughs> um, but, Despite that, here is that shade. My teeth look extremely white. Also, this one did not go on patchy. I don't know what it is. Maybe just because it's so dark that there's, I don't know, there's no way that it could be patchy. No, there's definitely a way it could be patchy. Whatever it is, it doesn't look patchy on the lips. And lastly, we have these gray tubed lipsticks. This one does not have a name on it, but it just says NU07. I don't know if it's because I just took off all of those really dark lipsticks, but it's looking kind of grayish, maybe because I just took off that black lipstick. Maybe I'll add a little bit more just to see if we can get a more true color. Yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to look like right there. Let's try this one with a lip liner. I'm going to use the shade Spice from MAC, and I'm gonna line my entire lips with this one. Let's just put this on the center and then blend it out. All right, here's what that looks like. It's nicer, but it's still not really what I would go for. A little bit too nude for me. I think that I would have to pair it with more of a pinky lip liner. I just kind of feel like it washes me out. Next, we have the shade Cognac. This looks like it's gonna be a really nice one. All right, and here is Cognac. I like this one a lot. This is a very unique color in my collection. I feel like it's definitely giving that darker brown tone, but it's definitely a warmer brown has a little bit of like muted nude to it I don't know how to explain it it's kind of blowing my mind because I don't have any other shade like this in my collection I don't think like I can't think of anything off the top of my head that has the same undertone and has this sort of look to it it's really really beautiful next we have this shade cold smoke and again a very unique shade something that i definitely do not have in my collection while we had a cooler gray shade already this one feels like a warmer gray kind of like a neutral shade i could see people like making this work you know i don't know about me and last but not least we have smeared rouge very nice classic red lip i think that this is a beautiful more dark toned red lipstick, but it's still very universal and really wearable for a lot of people. I think that this one is really nice. All right guys, we made it through all the lip swatches. I'm very glad, to be honest. 20 lipsticks is a lot of lipsticks to swatch. However, I will say because of how soft and velvety and plush this texture is, it made it a lot easier to remove. They're not like hurting as much as some other lipstick collections have in the past. So I guess that kind of like goes to show that these are really comfortable, really nice uh, textured lipstick. I love these lipsticks so much. I think that the color payoff is really great. The one swipe color payoff is amazing. And I did read right just right now that they don't recommend pressing your lips together to spread the color out, which I definitely did for some of these. And I apologize if that kind of messed up the swatches. The texture, again, if you've never tried any of these, I highly recommend that you try them out because the moussey feel of them, while there are other moussey textured like lip products out there this one just feels ultra lightweight very feathery and smooth i would say that these are very long lasting throughout the day i would like reapply them but that's the thing like even though they are technically a liquid lipstick they still reapply very nicely on top of itself and it doesn't end up getting too thick or too like layered i guess i will say that once they dry down they have very minimal transfer i'm not going to say that there's no transfer whatsoever because if you do like rub your lips yes it is going to transfer however like let me show you this is my relatively non-stained hand right now if I go like this 
I don't have a ton of transfer. So as you can see, there's really nothing that's transferring. But if I kind of run my finger across my lip, I do get a little bit of transfer. I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Again, I did receive these in PR. I want to say last summer I received these. So I've had them for quite a while and I'm excited to start wearing more of these shades. I've really kind of stuck like in this realm, like these and these. As always, if you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed it or both, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.